एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय अनदर वीडियो टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट स्पेशल एमसीक्यू ऑन न्यूनेटल रिसर्सिटेशन दिस इज पार्ट वन फॉर मोर इम्पोर्टेंट एमसीक्यू ऑन नर्सिंग सब्जेक्ट्स मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन न्यूनेटल रिसर्सिटेशन चेस कॉम्प्रेशन टू वेंटिलेशन रेशियो इज ऑप्शन ए टू इज टू वन बी थ्री इज टू वन सी फोर इज टू वन डी फाइव इज टू वन राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी थ्री इज टू वन प्रोभाइडर शुड परफॉर्म चेस कम्प्रेशन वाइल दि आदार मेन्टेन्स दि एयरवे In neonatal resuscitation, chest compression to ventilation ratio is थ्री इज टू वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द आइडियल टेम्परेचर ऑफ न्यू बोर्न रिसर्सिटेशन रूम ऑप्शन ए थार्टी सेवेन टू थार्टी नाइन डिग्री सेल्सियस बी थार्टी टू टू थार्टी फोर डिग्री सेल्सियस C twenty eight to thirty degree Celsius, D twenty five to twenty seven degree Celsius. Right answer is option D twenty five to twenty seven degree Celsius. Immediately after birth, the newborn is at high risk for hypothermia. So the ideal temperature of newborn resuscitation room should be twenty five to twenty seven degree Celsius. Next question. What is the size of endotracheal tube used for newborn? Option A: two point five mm to three point five mm. B: two point five mm to four mm. C: two mm to four mm. D: two point five mm to four point five mm. Right answer is option B, two point five mm to four mm. The size of endotracheal tube depends on birth weight and gestational age of newborn. The size of endotracheal tube used for newborn is two point five mm to four mm. If The gestational age is less than or is equal to twenty eight weeks, and birth weight is less than one kg. Then, the size of endotracheal tube used for newborn is two point five mm. And if the gestational age is twenty eight to thirty four weeks, and birth weight is one to two kg, then Three point zero mm size of endotracheal tube is used. If gestational age is thirty four to thirty eight weeks and birth weight is two to three kg, then three point five mm size of endotracheal tube is used. And if newborn is term and birth weight is greater than three kg, then four point zero mm size of endotracheal tube is used. Next question: Size of suction catheter used for neonate for oral and nasal suction is option A eight French, B twelve French, C fourteen French, D sixteen French. Right answer is option A eight French. Size of suction catheter. Used in neonate for oral and nasal suction is eight French. Next question: When caring for an infant during cardiac arrest, which pulse must be palpated to determine cardiac function? Option A: carotid. B: brachial. C: pedal. D: radial. Right answer is option B, brachial. 
brachial pulse must be palpated to determine cardiac function in an infant during cardiac arrest. Next question. While suctioning newborn babies, mountain knows which part need to suction first. Option A mouth, B nose, C there is no other, D based upon the amount of secretions present. Right answer is Option A mouth. While suctioning newborn mouth, should be suctioned first, then nose. This helps to prevent aspiration. Next question. In neonatal resuscitation, which of the following is seldom needed to stimulate the heart, increase the superfusion, and restore acid base balance? Option A medication, B chest compression, C bag and marks ventilation, D tactile stimulation. Right answer is Option A medication. Medication is seldom needed to stimulate the heart rate, increase the superfusion, and restore acid base balance in neonatal resuscitation. Next question. Bag and mouse ventilation is contraindicated in newborn resuscitation with clinical suspicion of Option A. Intracranial hemorrhage B. Diaphragmatic hernia C. Bone to diabetic mother D. Pneumothorax Right answer is Option B. Diaphragmatic hernia Diaphragmatic hernia is the contraindication for bag and mask ventilation because it further increases the intrathoracic pressure and respirator compromise will be there. There is one other situation where bag and mask ventilation is contraindicated in newborn resuscitation is infants born through meconium stained ligor. Next question, which is the ideal route for administration of drugs during newborn resuscitation? Option A. Endotracheal B. Umbilical artery C. Umbilical vein D. Intraosseous Right answer is Option C. Umbilical vein the most accessible IV route for neonatal administration of medications is catheterization of the umbilical vein which can be done rapidly and aseptically. The most commonly used medication is epinephrine as 1 is to 10,000 solution. Intravenous fluids and naloxone can also be given. Next question. During resuscitation, shoulder roll is placed under baby's shoulder to slightly extend the neck because Option A. It brings posterior pharynx, larynx and trachea in a line. B. Facilitate drainage from mouth. C. More amount of air will pass. D. It promote inspiration and expiration. Right answer is Option A. It brings posterior pharynx, larynx and trachea in a line. Shoulder roll brings posterior pharynx, larynx and trachea in a line and it will facilitate breeding in a newborn baby and will also help in easy intubation. Next question. 
PPV stands for Option A Pressure Positive Ventilation B Positive Pressure Ventilation C Periodic Pressure Ventilation D Pressure Periodic Ventilation Right answer is Option B Positive Pressure Ventilation Positive pressure ventilation is most important aspect of newborn resuscitation for ensuring adequate ventilation to the lungs, oxygenation to vital organs. Indications for initiating positive pressure ventilation are the infant is apneic, is making inadequate respiratory efforts, has a heart rate lower than 100 beats per minute and have continued central cyanosis despite supplemental oxygen. Next question. PPV is discontinued when the heart rate is above 120 beats per minute, B above 100 beats per minute, C below 130 beats per minute, D below 100 beats per minute. Right answer is option B above 100 beats per minute. Observe heart rate after 30 seconds of positive pressure ventilation. If it is more than 100 beats per minute, then we should stop positive pressure ventilation and provide post resuscitative care. If heart rate is below 100 beats per minute, then we should check for incorrect ventilatory steps. It may be due to inadequate seal, blocked airway, or inadequate pressure. Corrective action is to be taken immediately. Next question. Dangers of chest compression includes Option A. Lacerated liver B. Broken ribs C. Pneumothorax D. All of the above Right answer is Option D. All of the above The dangers of chest compression includes Broken ribs, lacerated liver and pneumothorax So this is the today's video. Thank you so much for watching my video.